Okay, guys, Mark Connors, TCR Media Network. I've told you guys that I'm going to be out in a meeting tonight with a bunch of cool, great people. We are at Sumner County Veterans Home, and uh, let's talk with the commander. Commander, would you in uh, introduce yourself real quick? I am Commander Charlene Jackson. I am currently the commander at the American Legion Post in Gallatin and also in charge and running the Sumner County Veterans Home. Okay, so what have we been discussing here tonight? We have been discussing ways to raise money to support the veterans and work on the Sumner County Veterans Home, reduce some of the rooms, furnish them uh, with refrigerators and uh, microwaves and TVs, uh, dressers, toaster ovens, coffee pots. Mm -hmm. And who's going to be raising that money for you? The veterans of Sumner County. And the Connors Report and the listeners. Connors Report. Listeners, Bikers listeners. for Republic, right? Bikers for Republic also. Absolutely. Okay. Bikers, for, Bikers for Republic, the, uh, the Connors Report. Uh, let me say that if it were not for this entity here, the Sumner County Veterans Home, a lot of these guys would be living on the streets or under the bridge. We are, in fact, their last hope in some instances. Some of these fellows don't even have relatives. Uh, their relatives are their neighbors here. And any day, even if it's cold outside, you're going to see, if you drive by here, you're going to see these guys sitting out on their porch talking to each other because that's what they do. They gravitate to each other because they have that in common. Mm -hmm. How many rooms do you have here? We have 30. We have 30, but we only are able to rent about 25 or so because they're they, not done. The, the whole the, 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 this we're this, remodeling them. We are remodeling them. Mm -hmm. We're bringing them up to code so that these folks have mm -hmm. a good. Go that far. Uh, yeah. Well, we're we're well, we're not bringing them up to code, but we're bringing them up to, to where they are able to live comfortably with a, a roof over their head. We're ensuring that they have a safe environment, environment that they can lay their head in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Safe and secure environment. Now, also, you, somebody had mentioned that you're the only home, the only veteran's home in the state of Tennessee that's not... Um, we're aware of. That, or that you're aware of, that uh, is being ran by any kind of government assistance, is that correct? No no federal funding at all. We are the only American Legion, the only Post. American Legion Post that owns and operates a veteran's home without any financial assistance from any state, federal, or local government. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means that you guys need help. Yes. You need help. We do need help. Mm -hmm. what's, uh, what's the best way that we can help you out? Quite honestly, uh, we... If, if you have a lot of skill sets and come out and spend a couple weeks at a time doing the renovation process and have a few dollars to buy the materials, most people don't have that capability, but they do have money. And so we accept money to buy materials or pay for the labor to get this done. Mm -hmm. Now, when uh, TCR and uh, Bikers for Republic and our listeners and viewers raise money, where's the money going to go to first? It's going to go to our, our to TCR first, correct? And then the money is going to be distributed to you guys. Where where will it go when we give it to you? Will it go? Mm -hmm. It will go into our operations account, where we by we would take and utilize that money to pay tradespeople to come in and do the work, or to buy the necessary equipment and materials, or the furnishings, and and at times help pay for the utilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you guys what do you guys think about our meeting so far tonight? I think it's an awesome adventure uh, to be able to team up with someone to get donations to help ensure that they have a safe and secure environment to live in mm -hmm. and be maintained. Cool. Anybody want to pop anything in? Same thing. I I pretty much said what I needed to say, and uh, anything that that you can do for us will certainly be taken in and distributed well and used in this facility for these veterans. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing here is legitimate, correct? 
It Everybody? What we are doing here is uh, you guys are a legitimate veteran's home, correct? You're here helping people. Um, here is, it, it, this is, the staff that I'm meeting here tonight is what? Is basically your board? It is the board members. It yep. is the board members, okay? Not minus one or two or something like that? Yes. Somebody had, you know, a couple of hot dates or something tonight? Um. We're also a 501c3, c19 charitable organization. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. What would, what, why should people donate the money to TCR? Why don't they just send it right directly to you? Because we don't have the skill sets to, to reach them. That's the skill one. sets come from someone like you who is willing to come out and support a veterans organization mm -hmm. and to utilize your resources to reach out to, to the people that you know. Mm -hmm. So you guys do know that we're, TCR is going to set up a, an account, basically, for it, not a, set up an account. We're going to start a button on our page, basically. Donate to the veterans here at Sumner County Veterans Home, blah, blah, blah. You go through this because what we're going to be doing is, is you got a nice big parking lot out there, I noticed. Yes, we do have a nice big parking lot out there. Big enough for a concert. We do have a facility for a concert, and mm -hmm. that would be great uh -huh. once the weather warms up just a little bit. Right, just a little bit. And once we get our beer <laughs> license, we can even serve beer. And when will, that, right. when will that happen? I'm not going there on radio because everyone wants to know when the grand opening is. So we won't go there yet, but we're getting closer. Okay, cool. It will be publicized. Great. So I think maybe I should do a concert at that day. Maybe. I oh, think yeah. you should. Yeah. I, think that would, I think that would be wonderful. Wouldn't that be cool? We would, that certainly, would, be cool. We would certainly appreciate it. And, and, and by the way, we have a pit master, Mr. Curtis Malone. Barbecue. And he Aha. has the barbecue. And ribs. And ribs. His ribs are unbelievable. Mr. Silent. Smoked bologna. <laughs> oh, oh, nothing what? like a smoked bologna sandwich. Nice thick piece between some Texas toes. Yum. <laughs> now, see, people on the other on the west coast are going, what the hell did she just talk about? <laughs> a bologna? What? A lot of people already know about bologna. <laughs> Curtis Malone Barber. Oh, Curtis people Malone out on the West Barbecue. Coast cannot understand her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so now we're inviting people from all over the world to help us here, correct? Yes. Right. Yes, from all over the world. Let me just interject something, yes, sir. something here for your, for your followers and listeners. Mm -hmm. Since we've been involved with the Veterans Home here, we, we, we bought this in order to help our community and help our veterans. Any money that we have ever raised here at this veteran's home and at the uh, American Legion post across the street, we've always given it back to our community and given it back to our veterans. Whether it's helping our youth in, in, in the programs around here, supporting our youth with, uh, through the young Marines, the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, uh, as well as supporting baseball programs here. Uh, it's it's all about public relations for us and, to, and, and giving back. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we have done since, since I've been here 23 years, and we've, we've done that ever since I've been here. Every new money that, that come in here goes back to support veterans and children in youth pro programs. Veterans taking care of veterans. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's what we're all about. Mm -hmm. That's down in the times that we have served the community in times of disaster, such as the 2006 tornado. We cooked for two weeks and served food. Anybody that wanted to come and need a meal, we fed them. We no questions. We, we have our, a, we we have a disaster safety. trailer that is, that is used for disasters and as well as, as some fundraisers. But it is primarily used for disasters. It mm -hmm. is a disaster trailer. Mm -hmm. The last two tornadoes we had here, we took our trailer out into the area that was most devastating. And we fed all the workers that were out there doing the cleanup. And we probably fed two to three thousand people mm -hmm. over a period of a week or two. Is everybody in this room a veteran? Yes. 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 Okay, real quick, would everybody introduce yourself and where you served real quick? Mass Sergeant Jackson, Camp Lejeune, and Paris Island. U.S. Marines. U.S. Marine Corps, sir. Sir. Joe Pankowski, 22 years between Navy and Coast Guard. Jerry Carmack, I've been U.S. Army. Most of my time was at Fort Knox, Kentucky. Okay, I sir. I a few little trips, but most of it was at Fort Knox. Sir? Curtis Malone, I served three years, U.S. Army, Alaska, 18 months, 12 months at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and I'm a 36-year retiree of the Army Corps of Engineers, civilian employee. 
I'm Greg Johnson, served six years in the Navy on board the USS Sarabashi. John Griffith, Sergeant, United States Marine Corps, Vietnam, 67, 68, 68, Offensive, Siege of Quezon. Raymond Forrester, I'm the Finance Officer for American Legion Post 17, United States Marine Corps Sergeant. Mm -hmm, excellent. Sir, I see that you're wearing a hat that says Purple Heart on it. Yes, sir. Can you tell us about that real fast? Uh, I have. Did you get shot in the ass? Uh, no, that's one of the places that I did not get injured. I, I, I have three Purple Hearts, um, and I was wounded in, in Vietnam. Wow, sir, thank you so very much for your service. So did you get shot in the ass? No. It, okay, I'm just making down. sure. I, <laughs> I, 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 was, I was stabbed. I see where your show goes. <laughs> <laughs> I was stabbed and, and, and shot twice. Wow. So now he said he was at the siege of Case Don, and that is a, a thief by itself. That was a battle in was, within battles. Yeah, it was it under was. siege for about 67 days, I believe. Unbelievable. Sir, are you hanging? You're good, right, with life? You're good? You're stable? Yeah. For the most part. <laughs> these for the most would, part. <laughs> these folks will tell you that I'm not. On, on any given day, any one of us can have a reaction to any one. Look, you know what? I want to point something out, guys, real fast, and ladies. Um, how do you guys do on 4th of July? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. See, you know, doesn't that I, tell you something? I, I don't have any problems with the 4th of July. I did not see combat like some of these guys did. I'm like There's a somebody. turtle. Sir, how do you do on 4th of July? If my wife is able, we go out and watch the fireworks. I'm, Are you saying you don't spaz? Or I, don't, I, don't, I don't spaz. I have, a, I have a nice drink before I go. And, mm -hmm. and I'm He's on doing, some strong drugs. Yeah, but you know what? Just driving down the road, guys. Come on. When you hear that big... Freaking loud boom. ass boom! Uh, does your heart still drops in toes. It does. It does. And do your dingo still hit the pavement? Exactly. Yes. And, uh, no, no, it's not, He's it's, like, "Why? Wow, you have a TV show? You talk about this crap on your TV show?" Yeah, this is the Connors Report. Everybody has a sense of humor on our show. They love the veterans too. I, so I have been known to take a shit fit mm -hmm. from time to time. Mm -hmm. uh, loud noises don't bother. If I know they're coming, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know they're coming, it's it's not pretty. Yeah, doesn't that suck? It does. We've had instances where we did uh, honor guard in some of the cemeteries, and we'd have you know people adjoining the cemeteries uh, with children. Sometimes and they would hear the rifle report for that funeral, and it would make them extremely nervous. I think sometimes the veterans are more calmer than. In the neighborhood. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. We fired weapons here to test fire them after we cleaned them, and we always call the police uh, uh, office, you know, and tell them that we're going to do that. So I try to give them a heads up, and they still get reports, you know, of gunfire, and we basically had the officers you come out here, you know, looking, checking, checking the scene, to make sure everything was like you know, we said it was. Mm -hmm. now, any veteran, I think, after a while, will get used to uh, fireworks. In the backfire and stuff, but if you're in a lot of fire, it might be a different situation. I know guys that literally still go into the closet and turn on the headphones. I've seen people, I've seen people get to the battles that they If they heard a car backfire, they'd be on the road, a dirt, mud puddle, whatever. They was on the ground. I yeah. feel like a turtle. I know guys and like that. Times, and, right. and now, Janice, it's is that like your name? No, this is Joyce. 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 Joyce, what do you do? I am the secretary. She, she runs the show. She runs the show. <laughs> She's the go-to person. Usually it's a woman that does, isn't it? It's she, always the woman that really does. She's the go-to person. Uh -huh. In today's world, she's the staff assistant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> staff assistant. <laughs> all right, so did we have a good productive meeting here tonight? You guys so. all think so, so, right? Anything you guys want to say to America out there, or to the world, actually? Anything? I'd like to say something. Yes, sir. Connors. I, for one, appreciate you being interested enough in the best you're very welcome, sir. It's actually an honor. It's an honor for me to do so. Okay, guys. Cool. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.